Those That Bless is a ministry that I started when I was 11 years old, and the goal is to raise money for children in foster care and foster families, and I have been able to do that through making hair bows. I sell them at a boutique in Peach Park in Chilton County. I also sell them on Instagram. People will like direct message me from pictures that I post and say they would like a bow and I can ship them out. And the money is used for something to aid a foster family. My best friend Amberly was adopted into foster care and she shared that with me when I was 11 years old. I later found out that her mom, she worked at a foster care agency and her sister was also a social worker. So through that I was able to see the need and as an 11 year old there wasn't much I could do. I couldn't be a foster parent. So I looked to my other talents and I found that around the same time I had learned to make hair bows that I found out she was in foster care and so I kind of made that connection. <laughs> Specifically, I found out that when many children enter the system, they come into new homes with nothing more than the clothes on their back, and that really broke my heart to think about coming into the system with nothing to call their own and having to worry about those things when they really just need that love and connection with their new foster parents. So I wanted to do something where I could help provide backpacks or diaper bags with items such as like clothes, diapers, formula, things that the parents won't have to stress about that first night, things that the kids won't have to worry about the first night, and just aid them in the process. So it started out with just providing backpacks and diaper bags for children entering the system and then it later turned out to be providing a scholarship to a high school senior who has been in foster care. When I started it, I would have never thought that it would grow as much as it has. The best part about selling hair bows at Peach Park is it is a tourist location. So I put the little tags on there and people will be traveling to the beach and they stop and they see the tag and they're intrigued by it. So they'll message me on Instagram and ask, hey, what is this? Or I love what you're doing, my family fosters. So I've been able to sell hair bows to people in Texas and California, Tennessee, Georgia, all the surrounding states. One of the best things about Bows That Bless is it shows that if you step back and look at yourself, you look at your talents and you look at what you're able to do with your money and your time, you can find a way to serve.